welcome back, everybody. You know who's here? It's Jean Baptiste. Hey, John. What's happening with you? <laughs> I cannot wait to see you uh, in, in, in a little club again. That's one of my favorite things to do in the city, is just go down to a little club, see you play, have a little adult, a little adult beverage with my, with mm -hmm. my lovely lady. And, and then just, it's, it's, it's the most elevating, illuminating, relaxing, energizing night. Your medicine, John. How long do you think? Predict it. How long before you're playing in a club again? Woo! Oraculate. I'll probably give it, I'm going to say by the end of the summer, we'll be in there. We'll be shaking. I'll take that bet. I'll try to beat that bet. We don't know. Oh, yeah? I'm going to try to beat that bet. I'm going to go midsummer. That's my bet. I got no plans. Maybe even beginning of the summer. Who knows? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, because it's time to get out of here, John. It's getting time to be out of here. Do you know what we're celebrating this Friday? Celebrating is not the right word. Marking. marking. You know what we're marking this Friday? What's that? What's that? This Friday is one year since we had to bug out of the Ed Sullivan to get away from the COVID and each other. It's oh, a year, John. A year. This Friday marks oh. a year. Man. One see... of us doesn't look a day older. <laughs> But I tell you what, I was going to say, it feels like it was longer than a year ago. Yes. It feels much, much longer than a year. I don't remember what it's like to have an audience other than Evie. <laughs> That's a good audience. There, though, is no better, there is no better audience than Evie, but I wish there were 400 of you. That's all. There's so many people too. John, yeah, yeah. Do, you have, do you have anything? any music? What comes to you when you think of a year of this? Oh, my goodness. A year. The... Uh... <laughs> and never brought to mind. No. That's right. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> John Baptiste, everybody. Thanks, John. Yes. Folks, you know, I spent a lot of time felling the sturdiest, most topical news trees, shaving the finest oak planks, raising the tallest mast, and carefully drawing the perfect camber on the sails to create for you the mighty Viking longboat of news that is my monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I stumble into a dirty beach while on the run after getting caught match-fixing in an underground fight club, so I grab some half-empty plastic bottles, a towel I stole from an unsuspecting retired couple, then rip some electrical wire out of a hotel shuttle bus, which I used to bind it all onto an air mattress I fished out of the dumpster behind the Twisty Cream to assemble the unseaworthy castaway raft of news that is my segment. Quarantine Wild. Quarantine Wild. If you've ever been blasting away at creatures in Halo and thought, I wish I could eat them, great news. Pringles and Microsoft. Yes, you heard that right have announced a new Halo potato chip that tastes like space ostrich. Now, I don't know what that would taste like, but hopefully this will be a more successful game character food promotion than White Castle's Yoshi Sliders. <laughs> Quarantine while. In crime news, footage of a very dramatic art theft in New York City came out this week. Take a look. This is a weird one. New video shows suspects setting up a ladder outside a Bronx bar to steal a portrait. You see him here outside Alfie's place on East 177th Street on February 20th. Police say the only thing they took was this hand-painted portrait of a dog attached to the sign outside the bar. How in God's name could this happen? Why wasn't there a high-tech laser security system set up to protect this priceless masterpiece of a sheepdog pounding Jameson's? No word yet on who stole the portrait, but police are on the lookout for this man. <laughs> Quarantine while. In sea slug news, these sea slugs can self-decapitate and grow a new body. So sea slugs have it made. I'm sorry, are we keeping you awake? <laughs> so, sea slugs have it made. During the quarantine, they can pound down the sourdough and drink Nutella right out of the jar, then just chop off their own head and leave their gargantuan asses behind. At least science has finally explained why sea slugs are all such smoke shows. Mmm! <laughs> Tear me off a piece of that. <laughs> Specifically the, the head piece. <laughs> Quarantine while, a Dutch inventor has created a test where participants step into an airlock cabin and scream. Perfect. Being confined and screaming is all I've done for a year now. When the screaming's done, an industrial air purifier collects all the particles emitted, 
which are then analyzed for the virus. The test can also determine whether or not you recently had garlic knots. <laughs> Currently, the test is being conducted in a booth on the outskirts of Amsterdam. Oh, I think I've seen those booths. Does the test only work if you're wearing thigh-high boots and a pink wig? No? Different booth. My apologies. One Dutch participant raved, it's always so very nice to scream when nobody can hear you, though, which coincidentally is also the slogan for the poorly translated Dutch version of alien. Quarantine while, scientists say that male frogs trying to attract mates are super, super loud, belting out serenades that can register at more than 100 decibels apiece, close to what you'd hear at a rock concert or a rowdy nightclub. So how do female frogs deal with it? Well, they can ignore them because frog lungs are basically noise-canceling headphones, which is why I never take a long flight without these babies. <laughs> Quarantine while Chipotle is launching a makeup collection. Great news for anyone who's ever looked at a burrito and thought, boy, I wish my face looked like that. <laughs> the new makeup will include a 12-color eyeshadow palette inspired by Chipotle's ingredients. So move over, smoky eye. Hello, bean brow. All this can be yours for only $16, plus an extra two bucks for the guac mask. <laughs> when we come back, I'll make an offer to small businesses throughout America that I hope they don't refuse. Stick around.